Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the stiffness and flexibility. These two technical terms are opposite of each other. And I will try to explain the main difference between these two terms with the help of the figures. So it will be easy to understand. But first of all to define these terms. So the stiffness can be defined as it is represented by K and it is equal to the, the definition of the stiffness is that it is the ratio of the force or deformation. It means that how much force is required to produce a unit deformation or simply if divided by delta. That how much force is required to produce a unit deformation we call this is the stiffness of a material. But later on I will explain with the figures. Why the flexibility can be defined is it is the opposite of the stiffness and it is the ratio of deformation over the force. So deformation is delta divided by force. So it means how much deformation is created in an object by applying a unit force. So now to explain in detail the main difference between these two so let's consider this is any material and we applied a force here if so and this is the deformation in the material and this deformation is one millimeter let's consider this is a one millimeter deformation so if more force is required to produce a unit deformation we call such material is the more stiff material. If less force is required, we call it the less stiff material. So let's consider the same material and and the same deformation is produced. The one millimeter again is produced in this material with a different force. Now this force is let's consider is 50 Newton. And this force applied is let's suppose is 100 Newton so the more the less force is required to create a unit deformation in this material why a more tensile force is required to produce a unit deformation here in this material so it means this material requires more force to produce a unit deformation it means this is the more stiff material because more force is required for the one millimeter deformation which is a unit deformation while this is the less stiff because the less stiff the less force which is 15 newton force is required to produce a unit deformation so if we want to find the stiffness so the stiffness of the less stiff material will be 50 newton divided by the millimeter while the stiffness of this material which is high it will be 100 newton per millimeter it means we can clearly see that 100 Newton per millimeter is higher than the 50 Newton per millimeter. So the more force is required to produce a unit deformation and this material so we call that this is a stiff material. Now what is the flexibility? Flexibility is exactly the opposite of that of the stiffness. Now if we consider the object, if we consider the two objects here again And let's suppose these are two different deformation now and let's suppose we apply a unit force of 1 Newton and we also applied a unit force of 1 Newton right because it is the ratio of deformation over the unit force so this should force should be in one unit so this object we applied a force of 1 Newton and it deforms and it shows deformation of 10 millimeter while in the other object we applied the same force of 1 Newton but it shows a high deformation and this deformation is let's suppose 30 millimeter so we can see that this object the second object shows high deformation with the same applied force of 1 Newton so we say we can say that this object is more flexible because it deforms more with the applied force so the more deformation in the material the more flexible it is the less deformation in the material the less flexible it is 
So this will be the more flexible because it shows more deformation and this will be the less flexible material because it shows the less deformation. So if we, if we find out this flexibility, so it will be deformation over force, deformation is 10 mm, sorry, it is 10 mm per unit force and the, for this material, while for this material, it is a higher flexibility, so it shows 30 millimeter divided by the unit force. So we can clearly see the high deformation in a material, the more flexible it is. And the more, the less, the more force required to produce a unit deformation, the more stiff material is. So these are exactly the opposite of one another. If you have more stiff material, it means the more force is required to create deformation. If you have I have more flexible material, then we have less force to produce more deformation. So these are the opposite of each other. Hope you guys understand the main difference between these two technical terms and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.